Do you remember getting hit? I remember everything. When I got hit, it cut my hand and my legs off instantly. My hand was in the passenger seat, my legs were on the floorboard. I went to go wipe my face, and the fingertip, that's the first thing that I noticed, was gone. And I turned my hand over, and where that tattoo is, that whole chunk of my hand was missing. And as I was looking at that, a fly landed in my left eye. And I went to go wipe it with this hand. And I whiffed. And I just went, whoa. <laughs> and my sleeve was hanging there. And I'm just like, then I look up at them and I look back at that and I'm like, you know, yeah, that sucks. And I had a few choice words <laughs> that I thought about in my head. Like, that did not just happen. And then the second thought in my head was, holy crap, my mom's gonna kill me. Because <laughs> you'd gotten in so much trouble. Right, right. Then my friends are, you know, hovered around me, messing with the medical equipment and, I felt like I needed to say something to him, and I hadn't said anything up to this point. And I looked up at my friend Michael Waite, and I'm just like, holy crap, dude, do you ever think I'll get laid again? <laughs> and he just started laughing. And he came up two months after the fact, and he's like, you remember saying that? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, well, it made me realize that you were still in there, and it wasn't just a lifeless body, you know? And it put him right back on track. I was like, well, thank you. You saved my life. So the question is, did you ever have a love life again? Yes, I do well, actually. My man. I do well. And I don't think it's sympathy. I have a great life. I do the things that I want to do. And there's, yeah, no reason to sympathize for me.